I decided to be a missionary here at Camp River Ridge because I've always looked up at, at the missionaries here whenever I came here. I started coming here probably when I was 12. And I just loved seeing how the missionaries could interact with both the kids and still have their friendship together. And I admired how much they led. Father Lucio actually approached me and asked me about you know, whether or not he'd think I'd like to go to Cincinnati to do mission work. And then right after that, I'm sure he told all the missionaries that were in Cincinnati to come and interrogate me, because basically, you know, Jose and Fabian, they were like, hey, you should come to River Ridge. That'd be great, you'd really enjoy it. And I was like, okay, yeah, let's, let's do that. And I mean, that was just my best option. Well, I've been going to camps uh, here and at the Wise Roads house since I was in like fifth grade. Doing it for like all that time made me like just love this place and make it like my second home. And um, so I just wanted to, I just saw the leaders that would be in charge of me when I was young and I want to do the same thing and do it for a long period of time. It's kind of like a, a recharge moment. It's kind of a way for me to step back from what I do during the summer or during the school year and to just think about Christ, think about my, my faith life and what I need to do to get stronger in it. And the ECYD, it's, it's just kind of like a guidelines for everything I need to do. It's perfect because it gives me morning prayers, night prayers, afternoon prayers, anything I need. So uh, working here at Camp River Ridge influenced my spiritual journey through daily mass and adoration. Um, also the quiet, it's, it's really quiet here, really peaceful a lot of the times. So you can just sit and think, um, kind of meditate. Um, and all the daily adoration is super helpful too. Like when I'm here for last year it was six weeks, this year it's four. It's just, I feel so close to God, like, I, it's hard to describe. It's just, like, every day having morning and night prayers and having adoration almost every day and mass and just having that constant spiritual union with Him is just wonderful. I can't explain it. Nice. It's like a checkpoint, I, I'd say. It's like, I'll, like, be on my spiritual life and I'll be doing good, and then I'll start to drift away, and then my mom and He's like, hey, Kel, you want to go to this camp? I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Then it like, gets me right back on track. And then, um, but yeah, I think it's definitely helped me. Um, definitely helped my roots so that way I will stay on the right track. I, I saw how connected they were with uh, well, what I thought at the time was just the faith, how connected they were with Christ. And I thought it was really cool. And so this past summer, I just thought, hey, I'm going to give it a shot. I didn't do it last year, and I regret that. So. I want to do it again. Cool. You know, just ask him a quick question, spend five minutes with him. And over that, it wasn't a one-time thing, but it was, it, was, it was a feeling of affirmation that Jesus wanted me to be here, that I had a purpose here, and that I wouldn't be wasting my life. You know, I wouldn't be wasting my summer at my house. I'd be coming out here to serve others and to do as well. So to end off, I just want you guys to think about ECYD and, you know, what it means to you, and if you aren't part of ECYD, consider joining it.